Hello and welcome to this quick run through of the Nexus Race software. The software is free, it's included as part of any NX2 or NXR pack and you can even download the software from nexusmarine.se. The software is built up as almost a see-through system and by that I mean that you can have two programs running simultaneously. Nexus Race doesn't intrude on the other program. At the moment we've got Nexus Race running up here and we can also have a, uh, another program running down here in the bottom part of the screen. And in a racing or sailing environment you could also have a navigation program for example running at the same time. We're going to go through just the basic buttons over the top here first and we're going to, in another video we'll talk a bit more about calibration. So first of all what can you do with Nexus software? Well, if we open the race software here and go to monitor, it opens up all the instruments we can actually see on our laptop. And for example, if we wanted to look at boat speed, we just click on boat speed and we can view it in either an analog format, digital format or a strip chart format. And I'm just going to open the low speed analog format here and give our log transducer a quick turn and you'll see, just like you would see on a normal Nexus instrument, the speed comes up there. We can move these, enlarge them, get rid of them, you name it. And if we want to look at digital format, make that smaller a little bit, put that over there, and again it comes up if we turn the log transducer. Same thing for the strip chart format. Start giving a quick turn, and you can see the speed builds up there. Now we've got quite a few parameters we can actually look at here. I'll just take another one for an example. If we take uh, compass course, and if we look at it in the analog format again, bring it to the center. If I give my compass transducer a little twist, you'll see that that moves again. Now, what you will probably notice here, uh, a lot of people ask us, can we connect up a tablet to the system? Well, if you have a remote desktop application on your tablet that will connect to a laptop that is up and running, you can obviously see, obviously see uh, what we're seeing at the moment on your tablet while you're out uh, on the boat. So that's all the instruments. Uh, again, you can have there's loads and loads of parameters you can look at, uh, all in analog or digital format. The next button here is our start timer, racing timer. It's automatically set of the instruments for five minutes once you press set. So uh, now the five minute gun has gone off and the five minute timer is coming down to the race instruments. I'm just going to cancel that at the moment. The next function is the steering pilot function. And the steering pilot is a very interesting instrument. It's one of my favorite instruments. The best way to think of it is that as of a manual autopilot. And I'm just going to give you an example how to use it here. If we wanted to go on a uh, heading, a compass heading, instead of trying to remember something complicated like oh, 170 degrees or something like that, all I do is put in 170 into the steering pilot. Press on OK, and then we're going to look at magnetic heading again. And we're looking at, at the steering pilot. Now, as you'll see, the steering pilot is made up of 25 to 0. So instead of remembering 170 degrees, all we need to do is remember to keep the arrow on 0. And the way to think of it is to actually pull up the arrow using your steering wheel, or the helm, sorry. So in this case, we need to steer to starboard. And if I give the compass a little twist, you will see that that will move 
and again we're more or less, instead of remembering 170, all we're doing is trying to keep the needle in the middle. Very, very useful to, uh, for inexperienced crew, or even you know, crew, so you can, as a captain you can be confident that you, all you need, the crew need to do is to keep the arrow on zero. And again with the steering pilot, we can have a compass heading, a bearing to waypoint, uh, a course to steer, or even an apparent angle, a w apparent wind angle to steer at. The trim command is used um, to see if you, with a change of sail for example, or a trim of sail, to see if you've actually improved performance. So you can press the trim now and use as a reference as boat speed, either trim the sail, change the sails, and then you'll see if your performance has improved as a percentage measure. Here we can load up a polar diagram. I haven't got any polar diagram loaded up, but you'll get much more out of the system if you actually do load a polar diagram up. For example, you can have target boat speed and a whole other load of parameters once you do that. This button here toggles the, light, uh, the lighting of the instruments. Now it's on full, and now it's off. This button here travel, uh, triggers a man overboard button. And as you can probably hear, there's been an alarm sent to the instruments. And now my multi-control is automatically giving me a dead reckoning bearing to go back to pick up to the, the point where the man overboard fell over. If you have a Nexus GPS, by pushing the man overboard button, it will create a new waypoint, waypoint 399. Here we have some extra systems on the Nexus race, but I'll just come back to these in another video. But one interesting thing just to show you now is the configure. And this actually shows what elements I do have in the system. So you can see I've got a Nexus server, I've got a compass instrument, I've got an N-Wind, and that down I've also got a multi-control instrument. And here it will also give you the ID numbers. So for example, if you have a mass display unit and you want to find out which number that is, it's very easy to find it here. That's all I wanted to do for the time being. Nexus Race is a great software, particularly if you want to have a little play by yourself. Have a good look around. And again, if you wonder over anything, please just give us a call on support or send us an email to support at nexusmarine.se. Thank you.